Now, this being television, we're in a television studio, and it's full of lights. It's got more than 100. And some are bright, and some are dark, and some are in between. But it's hard by eye to work out which are the brightest, because the eye is very poor at judging brightness. It has an inbuilt mechanism that stops us doing just that. You watch mine when I shut them and wait for a little bit. Watch the little black dot in the middle as I open them again. You notice that it changes size. In fact, it shuts down to cut light out, which makes it very hard to judge exactly how much light there is. Well, people who take films or uh, photographs often use a light meter, but not many of us have one of those. So we have to make do with an oil drop, and it's surprisingly effective. If I put a drop of oil on this blotting paper and rub it into the fabric of that paper, you'll be able to see that under certain conditions. It depends on whether there's more light in front of or behind the paper. Let's see what I mean. Tilt it backwards and you see the dark oil spot there. That means there's less light behind than there is in front. The drop's dark. If I tilt the paper forward, that confirms that. Now you can see the drop is lighter than the paper. That is, there's more light behind than there is in front. That means, overall, there's more light up here than there is down below there. Where does the drop disappear? Well, just about there. And if you look at the paper, you'll see it's vertical. And at that point, there's the same amount of light in front of as behind the paper. So what have we found out? Lots of light up there, not much light down there, the same amount of light out there as there is behind me. In fact, it's a perfectly lighted studio, and we've found that out just with a drop of oil. Amazing. I want to know.